Hey guys, it's Chuggy Connor. Welcome back for more Paper Mario. In the last part, we got into Tide Mount Lava Lava. In this part, we're gonna get the Hub Hub Upgrade! I'm sorry if I don't sound too enthusiastic, I'm just really tired. You got the Ultra Hammer! Mar the attack power of Mario's Hammer increases. On top of that, you can now destroy Metal Blocks! Yes! We can destroy these! They're so awesome! In fact, uh, Mer uh, Mer Lovely at Shooting Star Summit, she will actually, um, tell you where there are metal blocks because you know it just she tells you like where there's metal blocks located which is kind of weird like she'll tell you like star pieces and stuff like that though but she will also tell you where there's metal blocks located which really never made a whole lot of sense to me but yeah and, and it costs 50 coins to have to tell you where metal blocks are which kind of you know, I guess it's for people who just get lost on simple puzzles let's see what's in here dizzy stomp badge if it works enemy Mario jumps on becomes dizzy I think I could have told you that Oh, eek! I did not feel like doing that fight, so I just ran away from it. I lost one coin from that fight. Oh, awesome. Ah, God. Yeah, I'm just recording here at 12:05 a.m. Yeah, I'm not really feeling as up to recording as I thought I would this late at night. Well, early in the morning, more like, but whatever. It spiked up! Go up here. Hey, double spring! You're giving a price up on Grandma. Let's see if I can get this badge up here. Can I get it? Can I get it? Can, who's gonna call it? Can I get it? Yes, I can! The fire shield badge makes the damage fire attacks from fire attacks go down by one. So the fire shield together with that awesome ice power. Awesome. Again, I did not feel like fighting. I'm sorry if it's not very exciting to not see me do that many battles though, but I just don't feel like fighting these enemies, I'm sorry. I just I'm tired, okay? Anyway, I'm actually gonna cut this right here and I'm gonna go back and heal the hard block, okay, so I'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. Let's see, what does Colorado here have to tell us? My fight me honed intuition tells me that the green discoveries lie just beyond here. But there's this mysterious block in my way. Curses, what do you get? My eyelid is suddenly twitching and I can't stop it. This is getting really annoying. Yes, excellent. Now, no time to hear. Onward to glory! Reminds me of a uh, Minish Cap where that one uh, pickery says, Onward to glory! Just try not to die out there, okay? It smells like treasure! Treasure, old boy! Make way! I'm going ahead! Yeah, but... It's like, oh, I'll make it back! Yeah! I like a Mario just watches. He's like, eh. Down. I didn't even feel like jumping down there because I know where that leads. Ah! Actually, if you want, you can use bow just have her turn you invisible and go through this. I actually don't know what happens if you get crushed by that. I don't know. Does it kill you? Does it do damage? I honestly don't know, because I've never let it catch me before, and I'm not going to find out in this one, because I'm trying to do a no-death run to this game, which I've been successfully doing so far. And even if I do die, I usually just do the take over again. I just do a whole different take of it. And these are the fire bars from the Brothers Fortress, in which you can jump over them and get a whole lot of coins, but I don't feel like doing so because I'm gonna show you what to do. I made it! I made it! I made it. I'm smarter than a rock floating in a pool of lava. Okay. Trying to not get into any more fights because I really, really don't want to. Mario, oh, wait one moment. Where did the information I've gathered? The treasure should be right around here, but I need to go a little farther. Alright, whatever. Anyway, we're going to be rolling this block for a really long time, though, so I'm probably going to go ahead and speed this up. Oh, God. I'm trying to speed up the stuff. You know, 
I had to use like that little goofy like clown song like every so often though. God, I never had to speed things up. I'm playing it. And then, like this, now we gotta break these blocks one by 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 one whatever. And now we're on this last block now, so I just stop speeding it up and. Anyway, though, just get out of the way. And it slams right into the collider. This is just weird. His body, like, starts having this ripply effect as if, like, it's in front of, like, a bunch of heat. Friendly nicks me on way. Oh, my poor shell. Ow. Yeah. Anyway, though, we're actually right up near the end of this dungeon, actually. Close. So very close. My true surrounding dungeons are going simply mad right now. My intuition tells me it's over here. Yay, a heart block. See, I probably could have just skipped going back to the heart block because I really didn't get any more fights. What do we got here? Super Shroom. What do we got here? Maple Syrup. So helpful because the boss is coming right up. Oh, huh? There seems to be nothing. Alas, you and my family have an intuition to be wrong on occasion. We shall both give up. Let's head back the other way. Perhaps the treasure is a bit deeper down in the volcano. Actually, yes, it is. We're going to be getting to that in another part, though, because the boss is coming right up, and because I played through this game about 9,001 times for 9,000! I know the boss is right after the save point. Okay, so, anyway, if you got this pop, subscribe to my videos up in the corner, big yellow button, give me a five-star video, demo so you share your cards if you like this one. Okay, I will see you guys later. Next part, we take on Lava Piranha.